Now, another ha, stonking great. They're almost all near linears anyway. Certainly the three I've had are all similar looking. But there you are, 34 pounds of Coombley Lake Whacker. Let's get him up. Here we go. Look at that. 34 pounds. Biggest yet. She's going to have a little wriggle. That's okay. 34 pounds of Coombley Main Lake Cracker. Again, this falls so hard. I really, there's a big one in here, a 50 pounder. And with the weight on this up and down this margin, I really thought I had the other one on. But no complaints with this. 34 pound of beautiful, look at that, scaly. Scaly, scaly beast. You, my friend, are adorable. Thank you, Coomley. Right, back you go. I am mega chuffed with that. Mega, mega pleased. He's an angry fish though. There you go, let's give a little dip and look at him. That is a beautiful scaly miracle. Let's get him back. Thank you. There we are, darling. Chuffed is an understatement. Thank you, Coombe. Wow. Sweet corn. Now this over the last couple of years is something I use a huge amount of. It's bright, they can see it. It's one of their five a day. Let's joke about it. Uh, most people don't use it or they use it in conjunction with. I tend to use it a lot with either straight boily or on its own. There's not a fish that usually will swim over it. Years ago, people were freaking out because it's a great big golden ear on the lake bed. I've watched fish take it on and I've watched 20 pounders eat four or five tins in two to three minutes. I actually feel, with this sun bright, I think we're done now till probably the afternoon, uh, but carp fishing, you never can tell. Right, so basically this is going out now in prep for maybe a three o'clock. I had a three o'clock and a seven o'clock yesterday out in this area, so um, hopefully, let's drop it right there. Bang, that drops, that's, that's three, maybe three and a half foot there, like I said yesterday, so um, lovely jubbly. And the other two will stay out there unless they get in the field with a lot of coots. So we're all set, we're all set. Let's get this boat back, the frog. Let's get the frog back, Rich, and um, put it back on the bank. Right, yesterday afternoon, I had a hook pull. Don't, none of us like that happening. I was using the beak point. Now, I started with that rig because I wanted the rig sitting lower to the lake bed here. It's nearly all clay. I wanted it right down there without actually being a bottom bait, I wanted it to be balanced, so it was a Ronnie on a beak point. After the hook pull though, I changed rigs. Now I remember saying last night when I got my first fish in that cradle over there, that in the morning I would go through with the whys and whats and what I've changed to. Now since changing the rig, I've had, well that was it, that was the first one on it. So I've had three bites and they've all hit the bank. So um, what literally what I've done, my go-to usually is a, a size four or size six, medium curve, the carp spirit range, because they are called razor point for, for a reason. They're very, very sharp. And there we go, as a Ronnie, it's a very dangerous looking setup that, but it does it. But it does mean the bait sits that little bit higher off the lake bed, but clearly it hasn't made an ounce of difference, because as I've just said, once I changed the, to this, after having the hook pull, the first fish was 30 pound 12, and then the other two early this morning. So that now is going in that, the boat's the same color as that, funny enough and the same colour as the sweet corn that's going in it. Little pineapple and banana pop up, sitting that far off the bottom. Boat full of corn, let's get it sorted. Right, here we are. This is the one that the birds keep interfering with every 10 minutes, but it's going out now, hopefully it will be out for the, for the duration. If I lean out anymore, you're gonna love it because I'm gonna plop myself in that lake. 
That's the rig gone. And there's the spare sweet corn. Well, as you can see, it's the end of day two. Okay, because it's got dark. Nothing's happened since um, them couple of bites early this morning, which isn't surprising, because we did sort of think when we got here, it would be mainly, it's that time of year, mainly at night and it all very early in the morning. So, um, so not, not um, disappointed with that. The rods are set. We're very pleased with all three of them. And we've seen enough fish here late, well, in the last two hours, to, to, I firmly believe we've made the right move by staying here, although I did hear a few down the other end in the night, but there's plenty in here, 70 fish in here, which means I've still got to catch 67 tonight to make it worthwhile. But um, joking aside, there's been four or five bounces around here in the last couple of hours. We've made the right move, I'm absolutely positive of that. So let's see what the night brings. Hopefully it'll bring a couple. Great if it was free again, wouldn't it? But um, if we get one more bite before we shoot off tomorrow morning, I should be extremely happy with a four fish trip, but uh, more than that would be even better. Good morning. What a night that was. Let me tell monsoon, it hasn't stopped right. It started about 8 p.m. yesterday raining, and it's literally just petering out now. I have been up and down this bank like a lunatic with line bites all night. Bear in mind, we are in very shallow water, and these are big fish. Uh, even slipped over once, sat on my butt in a load of mud, which um, if my man beyond the camera had seen it, he would have developed a fit of laughter. Uh, but other than that, right, <clears throat> but I have got Staying up all night and staying in the peg, having not moved yesterday on, on a bit of a, what, what do we do? Because they were showing at the other end. It's paid off, I've got a lovely little present to, I've got a lovely big present to show you in a minute. But before that, I'm gonna drink my tea. We're heading home today in the next couple of hours and I need to get everything packed in the van because those that know me and my OCD, while this rain is stopped, the only thing that's gonna be wet is the shelter. So leave me to it and then I'll give you a little looks around my present. Oh, we go. Wow, look at that. If there's ever a fish to finish on, she's your baby. Well, what a fish to finish on. 30 pound eight ounces of wonderful Coomley Lakes common carp. If we could finish on anything, we did say yes to be lovely, we have a common, wouldn't it? And early this morning, he came knocking. So while we're on the Coomley Lakes thing, I just want to say a massive thanks to Will for letting us on to do our filming. What a beautiful place. We've had an average size, because we, we can work it out, me and Rich. The, the average size has worked out between the four fish of uh, 30 pound, four ounces. That ain't too bad, is it? What a great trip. And you know, we had three days, boiling up sunshine, really windy yesterday, pouring down my rain since last night so we've come through the elements other than snow but we are due back on the mainland and we've got a ferry to catch so bye bye baby it's been emotional let's get you back <laughs>